Hello, you're watching Armando Hasudungan Biology and Medicine videos. Please make sure to subscribe, join the forming group for the latest videos. Visit Facebook Armando Hasudungan, like, ask questions, answer questions, and post interesting things. So now today's topic, I uh, will talk about the digestive system. And first, I'll begin by going over some of the major anatomy associated with this system. Now, food goes down this passage in your body called the gastrointestinal tract. And it begins in the mouth and travels down the esophagus to the stomach, which is somewhere here. And then after the stomach, it will go into the intestines. And it will firstly go into the small intestines, followed by the larger intestine, the large intestine. Then after the large intestine, it will go through the rectum as manure, poo. And now there are accessory organs, secondary organs, associated with the gastrointestinal tract. They are not actually part of this uh, hollow tract thing, but secrete important enzymes and substances that help with digestion of food. And these are the liver, the gallbladder, and the pancreas. And these secondary organs, they're very important for digestion. Now again, let's go over the gastrointestinal tract in a bit more detail. So here we got the human face. So food first enters the mouth. Once your mouth chews it, a process called mastication, it will travel down towards the esophagus as a bolus, kind of like a ball. Now the bolus will travel then down to this, towards the stomach. And the stomach will mix and secrete hydrochloric acid to digest some of the food. This food will really become mushy now and continue traveling towards the small intestine, the main site for absorbing food. And then the mushy food again will travel towards the large intestines and finally to the rectum. Now the mushy food is referred to as chyme, chyme, once it leaves the stomach. Then we have the secondary organs associated with the gastrointestinal tract. The liver is superiorly to the right of the stomach, just under the diaphragm, your lungs. It produces and secretes bile, important for fat digestion. The gallbladder stores bile from the liver, ready to secrete it at notice. Now the pancreas is another really important organ in the digestive system. I would say the most important perhaps, because it secretes enzymes that digest all macromolecules, lipids, carbs, and amino acids. Now we will look in more detail on the food digestion through the gastrointestinal intestinal tract in a lot more detail in the next video. Um, but for now, we'll just go over some of the anatomy. So this, so we'll go over the stomach anatomy in a bit more detail. The stomach, as we saw, looks something like this. The middle area is called the referred to as the body, and then we have the esophagus up the top, bringing the bolus, the food, down to the stomach, and it will firstly arrive at the part of the stomach called the fundus. And then it will travel through the body and, and it will leave the stomach through the pylorus sphincter, the pylorus, to the small intestines, to the small intestines as chyme. Now the small intestine is a hollow organ composed of many layers. A note to make is that food travels through the gastrointestinal um, tract by peristalsis. So it travels through by peristalsis or segmentation. It's a movement, which are frequent contractions of smooth muscle pushing the food uh, as it progresses through the GIT. Now back to the small intestines, we have the outer layer called the serosa, and then we have two types of smooth muscles here, the longitudinal and the circular muscle. Sorry you can't see that bottom bit. And here's a circular one. Now then we have the submucosa, and finally we have the mu mucosa. The mucosa is the innermost layer, and it secretes mucus, I guess you can say. Um, and actually, it is interesting to note that the gastrointestinal tract is actually all composed of four layers, the stomach included. Now, the top bit of the stomach is called the mucosa, and it secretes mucus, which is important in protecting the, in, the inside. And then there are crypts, which cells secrete enzymes and acid. Next, we have the submucosa, which is, sub means under, so under the mucosa, and it contains the lymph, the veins, and arteries. Then there is a smooth muscle, the stomach, 
actually has three different smooth muscles so that it can mix the food up. Finally, we have the serosa, the outer layer. And comparing it to the small intestines, it has on the mucosa surface villi and large crypts, and these are necessary for absorption for small intestines. It also has a submucosa for veins, arteries, and the lymph here. Muscle for peristaltic contraction and segmentation. And finally, the serosa down the bottom. Now there are, so that's just a brief uh, sort of anatomy. Now there are four, sorry, there are four basic uh, processes of the digestive system. And we'll go over them now. If this, so if this is the gastrointestinal tract here, uh, here is the interstitial fluid, in, uh, which is the interstitial fluids between the gastrointestinal tract and the blood vessel. And so this would be the blood. Uh, food, food, which is here, will travel down the gastrointestinal tract and will be digested. So digestion is the first process, or one of the four. This is carried out by secretion of enzymes. Um, digested food will be absorbed, absorption, which is another important process. And then the food will also move through the gastrointestinal tract, so motility, movement. So again, we have M for motility, D for digestion, S for secretion, and A for absorption. Now, looking at the overall process of motility, digestion, secretion, and absorption through the gastrointestinal tract, we'll begin with the oral cavity. So the oral cavity, so the motility, it swallow and chews. Secretion, it will secrete saliva and amylase uh, enzyme, which we'll look into later on. It will digest a bit of carbs. It'll do a bit of digestion of carbs. It will absorb nothing. The stomach, the motility is peristalsis and also propulsion and mixing sort of thing. Um, secretion, it will secrete hydrochloric acid, pepsin pepsinogen, gastrin, mucus, and it secretes some more other stuff, which we'll look into further. It will digest proteins and a bit of fat. Absorption, it will absorb lipid-soluble substances, such as aspirin. Then you have the small intestines over here, which is the main site of absorption. It's the main site of absorption. It absorbs all the macromolecules, nearly. And why it's the main site of absorption? It's because the liver and the pancreas helps with the digestive process. The liver secretes bile for fat, and the pancreas secretes pancreatic juice and other enzymes to help with digestion of lipids, fats, and carbs. Uh, lipids, fats, and proteins. Uh, the motility is mixing, propulsion, and segmentation. It secretes, the small intestine secretes CCK, uh, digests, it digests everything, and it absorbs everything and water. Next we have the large intestines, which doesn't really do that much absorption. The motility is segmentation. It moves through segmentation and mixing. It secretes mucus for protection, digests nothing, and absorbs a, some water, ions, and vitamins. So that was it for the digestive system, part one. Please make sure to watch part two, and we'll go in a lot more detail. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.